Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be different. I'll be stating 50 random facts about myself. So let's get right into it. As a kid, I was terrified of worms. I used to cry when I used to see them appear from the dirt. I was obsessed with the little mermaid. Like literally obsessed with her. The Power Rangers, the original Power Rangers was everything to me. I used to watch them all the time. So when I was younger, I never drank apple juice at all. I honestly thought it was pee. I also didn't like mashed potatoes because I thought people would like actually put it in their mouth, chew the potato and spit it out. Tommy from the Power Rangers was my first crush ever. So my mommy had a dream with her brother Carlos, my uncle Carlos, that passed away a while before this dream and in the dream he was handing her a baby and she kept on pat like backing away like no you can't be alive like you're dead i know you're dead and a while later she found out that she was pregnant with me so for a couple of halloweens i was the pink ranger i mean i just couldn't let go of it i couldn't I wanted to be her. So as a kid i swore i was a little mermaid you know i had the long hair and then i used to always swim like her yeah i used to swim like the little mermaid used to be like this in the water <laughs> so i love to dance i can you know get down reading makes me so happy i love to read like people that don't like to read i just look at them like why what's wrong with you it's like so awesome to read different books it just takes you to different places i am freaking scared of heights but the thing is i love to go on roller coasters i don't know how that can happen like i'm afraid of heights but i could go on roller coasters i love it oh my god the love of my life is pizza i'd rather be surrounded by animals than humans is that weird since i love animals i always wanted to have a pet but since my sister stephanie didn't do so well taking care of her cat um i couldn't have a pet when i was younger so my mom said hey why don't you have a pet rock I'm like really a pet rock what is that? As a child, I used to copy my mommy all the time and I used to like make believe I'm reading and then I used to lick my finger and then change the page. Like I knew what I was doing, but she did it. So I want to do it. Maybe that's why I love reading so much. So when it was take my child to work day, I used to love going to my poppy's job. It was so cool. Like I had a fun time. Clowns scare the heck out of me. I'm just, I'm afraid of them. I don't like clowns at all. My cousins and I used to play school and I used to love being a teacher. I don't know what age I was, but I was younger and um, I saw a ghost. It was a black ghost. It was weird. It was going into my kitchen like backwards. I love animals so much that I always, to this day, want to have a farm with a bunch of different animals on it. Old school music is the best to me. I freaking love it. I'm just an old soul. Like, it just speaks to me. I always had long hair past my butt. I cannot stand bugs, roaches, and spiders. Oh, they just creep me out. I just don't like them. When I was four years old, I told my mommy that I knew what my best friend Amanda's nationality was. And I said pork and beans. I meant to say Puerto Rican. Around five or six years old, I used to say who's for that. I meant to say, who's that for? Oh my god. In kindergarten, I used to take the cheese bus to another school. And every day, I used to cry. I hated going on the bus and I hated that school. Just, I did not get at all. When I was a toddler, I had blonde Shirley Temple curls. I'll like post a picture right here so you can see it. So when I was younger, I used to love summer days in my backyard because we used to put the pool in the back. And I thought this pool was huge. And then when I look back at the pictures, it was small, it was a baby pool. I'll put a picture up here so you can see for yourself. Okay, so I used to like Barney. I and mean, my parents, they had Halloween parties in our basement. I wasn't supposed to go because it was only for the grown-ups. But I wanted to, you know, look. I, I was really curious. And I think this is why this happened to me. But when I was like going down the stairs, you know, I was just peeking to see, you know, the adults to see what they were doing. At that moment, I saw Barney and I was so excited. But then when I noticed, his head was on backwards. It was like upside, it was upside down. And I was like, oh my God, Barney. After that, I never, ever saw Barney the same ever again. I think it was around eight years old. My grandma from my mommy's side, I used to always go to her house. We used to always go over there. And she always used to be like, Nia, you want to like watch a movie? And I'm like, yeah. She always used to put on bad boys. So that's why I love bad boys to this day. She's put on bad boys. She's put on um, hot, um, scary movies for me. And I was only eight. I think it was fourth grade. I wanted to cut my hair. And I was begging my mom, mom, cut my hair. Come on, cut my hair just a little bit. And she didn't want to cut my hair. She just thought I wanted to cut my hair because of everybody else that was cutting their hair. Maybe it was that, but I wanted a little something different as well. So I had a braid in my hair. And instead of taking the braid out, she got so mad at me and just cut my hair while I had a braid on. My hair was like this. 
it was just like all waves all, all crazy and I was just like oh, oh my god and I started crying and then she cut my hair like I get I think it was like up to here if I'm not mistaken that was the shortest I ever had my hair I don't know what age I was but this is my first time in Six Flags I was young everybody was going on the roller coaster except my titi Mary and my mommy they did not want to go on they was afraid that's why Shh. I went on and it was me, my pops, my brothers and sisters, and um, my uncle Charlie. I was going on and my uncle Charlie was like, come on, let's in the front. We sat all the way in the front. That was my first time ever going on a roller coaster. All I saw was my titi and my mommy looking like, no, what are you doing? When the ride started, my uncle Charlie was like, put your hands up. And I was like, and I put them up all the way. And I was like, ah, the whole time. Also, that same time I played my first game in Six Flags. I forgot what game was it, but the first time I won and I won a big Chuck E. Cheese teddy bear. I will like put the picture here. I have a creepy ass picture with the teddy bear. I'm a very understanding person. I know no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. And I just love to hear people out and everything and try to help them as well. My brother Ivan, he calls me Dewey. That's my nickname. Like he never calls me Samantha at all. If he calls me Samantha, it's weird, but he never does. He only calls me Dewey. And I don't know how that happened, but I love it. I can be too honest at times, most of the time. But growing up, my father always used to say he does not like liars. So I grew up with that, like don't lie. That's not good. I'm so huge on spending time with family. Like that's the best time ever. Being gathered with your family. I just think it's just so awesome. I don't remember how old I was, maybe 12, 13. I was at my cousin Melani's house in New Jersey. And it was me and a bunch of my cousins. We were in her backyard playing and everything. And in her backyard, the gate is semi-high, not so much. But behind that was like the woods it's like kind of on a hill a little bit you know went to a hill on the hill we seen a person that had a clown mask and had a black garbage bag in their hand that person was just staring at us like just looking down at us i literally froze i think we all froze and we just stood there and then we all screamed and ran inside and when we came back the person wasn't there no more but supposedly she told us later on that she found out that it was some person that had a clown mask that was murdering people. And this is a true story. This is why I do not like clowns. I'm petrified of them, that's why. The way I learned how to swim was a weird way. So my father, my brothers, and like my older cousins and everything used to take me and my younger cousins like by the hands and feet. And when we scored like the beach, they used to swing us back and forth and just throw us. We used to like fly in the air and just smack into the water. And they used to watch us and we had to learn how to swim on our own. It was fun, but it was kind of scary at certain points, but it was fun most of the time the show the wild thornberries i freaking wanted to be eliza so badly because i always wanted to talk to animals like to this day i wish i could talk to animals it's so amazing like who doesn't want to talk to animals it's like i want to know what you're thinking please like let's talk to each other i love you already so communication is the best thing ever right i don't look like the type but i love to work out and i also love to try new things i mean i'm down to do anything it could be paintball it could actually that crap hurts paintball hurts um it could be a kickboxing class it could just be hey let's go paint and wine but i'm down for anything i want to live life and try new things so if you know me i can be a weirdo but also my family could be one too like we all crack jokes and just do weird things we're just it's just out of fun and we just fun people to be around so i have 12 nieces and eight nephews if i'm not mistaken when i was younger in the summer i always used to love catching the lightning bugs I mean, I used to catch them but let them go, but I just thought they were so cool. So when Pokemon first came out, I used to watch it so much that I also used to collect the cards and everything. I think there was like gems and all different type of stuff. I don't know what happened to that. When I was younger, I always wanted a telescope because I was always infatuated with the sky and I still am. I think it's just beautiful and so mysterious. Like, I just love nature and all that. I used to watch the Magic School Bus and it was one episode that they was talking about honey and they made honey look so good. So like, I begged my mom to buy honey and when she did, oh my God, I thought it would taste so great. I remember it tasting horrible that i just spit it out and i was like oh what is this this tastes so nasty i'm a nice person but i'm definitely not no pushover oh my god i cannot stand that sound like the nails on a truck board <gasps> that irritates me like so much any sound that resembles that it just ah uh, my god it hurts my teeth and everything like my whole body just tenses up my biggest dream is to help the world i just want to make a big change i want to start off like helping my 
family first, my immediate family. They mean the world to me, so I want to help them all first. And then like animals and nature and everybody else in this world because I mean, we all should help each other. That concludes my video. I honestly thought that this video was going to be easy, like 50 random facts. Like it's about myself. But trying to think of 50 random facts was so hard. I was clueless for a while, but then I got it done. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give my video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye.